This is the Notus Unity, specifically the Topaz Blue. I recently reviewed a Notus Sector Sport and called it the perfect watch. So let's see how this one stacks up. I'm Francois, and it's time to watch. Notice Watches was established in 2017, not long ago, in Los Angeles, California, in the United States. Wesley Quok, one of the co-founders, indicated that Notice, the name, is the Latin word for node, the intersection of two paths, a focal point of interaction. Our watches, he says, encapsulate this metaphor, balancing quality with affordability and design with functionality. Before I get into the details of this watch, there are a few housekeeping items I'd like to go over, one of which is a big, big thank you to the Notice team for lending me this watch, but specifically to Jake, who was patient enough to have me keep this watch all this time. Some of you may have noticed that I haven't been posting watch reviews in a while now, and I may or may not get into why that is, but I really truly wanted to say a big thank you to the Notice team, to Jake, but also to my subscribers who were patient with me and kept on with me, and nonetheless, my channel grew a little, and uh, I really truly thank you, and all this is because of you. And if you're new to this channel, well, of course, welcome, and press that like button. That means that if at this point you're still listening, well, it's because you like these types of reviews. And of course, I encourage you to subscribe and press that notification bell. You'll be notified of all the upcoming reviews. And I do have a lineup that is coming up, one of which is this one here. This is a collaboration. It's part of the Range Master series. And, uh, Believe it or not, I may or may not have a Rolex Daytona in the mix. So, of course, the main thing you need to remember here is a big thank you. Now that we have the housekeeping out of the way, let's get right into the specifications. I'll talk about the different components of the watch, and then I'll conclude with my impressions of this watch. The specifications are taken directly from the uh, Notice website. So essentially, the diameter is 36.5, the lug to lug is 43.5, the lug width is a manageable 20 millimeters, and the thickness is 11.3. I should say thinness because it includes this boxed sapphire crystal. So it's relatively uh, a, um, a thin watch. That boxed sapphire crystal here, as you saw, has kind of a, a slope in it, and it ties in well with the fixed bezel. This fixed bezel here is a high polished ceramic, and it's the same colorway as the dial itself. So if we get into the dial, you'll notice that it's a sandwich dial. So there's cutouts on each marker here that in the background is loomed. It's loomed with BGW9. And that loom is relatively uh, strong. So it may not be as strong as a Seiko, but it holds its own. You also have those sword-like hands filled with loom. The dial itself is kind of minimalistic in a sense that you only have the writing here at 12 o'clock and nothing here at 6 o'clock. Some will say maybe that there's too much negative space, but because this is a smaller watch, it ties in well with the overall look and feel. At the bottom 6 o'clock here, you have a cutout for the date and it goes well with the rest of the markers. However, the markers here, you'll notice that there's kind of a silverish border that makes it pop out even better. Speaking of popping out, I find that this dial, this kind of sunburst effect on the dial is really nice because it's not 
the standard kind of rays that you have on a dial. This texture dial is inspired by a citrus fruit or, or maybe a bark of a tree, but all that in line with nature. As the team at Notice would say themselves, nature is a seamless blend of beauty and function. Whether it is the colors of a flower petal, the bark on a tree, or the iris of a human eye, the natural colors and textures of the world around us serve as purpose that is just as functional as it is beautiful. The unity takes inspiration from these natural occurrences. Now let's get to the true star of this show, the movement. So inside, powering this watch is a Miyota 9015 with the date. And to operate this movement, it's a signed and screwed down crown. It's screwed down because this watch has 150 meters of water resistance. At the first position, once you've unscrewed it, you can wind the watch. At the second position, you can change the date. At the third position, you hack the seconds and, of course, you can change the time. Once you press and screw back everything, well, you have that full water resistance and peace of mind. If we now turn our attention to the case back, you'll see it's a screwed down case back to ensure that 150 meters of water resistance it has the standard writing on the borders, but you may notice that it's specifically indicated that it's designed and assembled in Los Angeles. In the middle, you have that Unity logo, which of course ties in well with the name of the watch. If you look further to the lugs, you'll see that Notice added a quick release system to this bracelet. And this is on top of the drilled lugs. What happens is that once you have a, a strap in place, you may or may not have a quick release system. So the drill lugs will basically be just as a courtesy for your next strap. If we now look at the bracelet, you'll see that it ties in well with the finish of the case itself where you have on the side here a polished finished and on the top it's more of a brushed finish. It's a three link bracelet with flat links and is very comfortable. And also you can adjust it with these screw pins to make sure that you have a good fit. But you'll see that there's no micro adjustments and that's very sad. If it hadn't had their notice or their node X on the fly adjustment. So you can basically press that button and adjust it as you see fit. The clasp itself is very solid. It has a signature here where it's kind of brushed. You have the same type of combination of polished and brushed with a double button deployant clasp that's fully milled and snaps into place. Now that we've seen all the different components and characteristics and specifications of this watch, let me just put it on my wrist see what it looks like and conclude this review. Here it is on my seven inch wrist. Those of you who follow me know that I like larger watches, so this one is not different. I thought it would grow on me as the weeks went by wearing this watch, but I like the design, I like the concept, I like the colors also, and the way that the light flashes on the different components of this watch, their brushed or polished components. It has good legibility as well. So I like the watch, but I don't like the proportions. I really hope that you like this watch as well. And if you're still here listening to this, well, thank you very much. And uh, well, maybe uh, take the chance to subscribe to this channel and press that notification bell and you'll be notified with every upcoming review. So this concludes my review of this Notice Unity watch and I hope to see you next time.